Are Americans obliged to fund and follow a lawless government? It's a fundamental question we raise in today's preamble. The first headline is damning of America's corrupt government. Joe Biden willfully retained and illegally shared classified information, but will face no charges. Joe Biden has been stealing classified material he was never entitled to as a senator or VP for over 40 years, doing untold damage to our country, yet no charges. Grand Inquisitor Jack Smith and his lawless cronies contend that President Trump stole classified documents, documents he was entitled to have and declassify as president. The corrupt government is growing frustrated with Judge Aline Cannon's insistence that the law, the Presidential Records Act, be followed. They are frustrated that she refuses to let them bastardize the law or invent intent, thwarting their efforts to achieve their desired political outcome from their absurd case. A Biden-appointed judge is blasting our corrupt government in the meantime after the DOJ commanded two of its employees to refuse to comply with a lawfully issued congressional subpoena. Congress wants the audio tapes from Joe Biden's interview with special counsel Robert Hur. Now, many of you might be asking, how is it the DOJ can instruct their employees to break the law? It's a good question. It may be because the Democrat Party now dominates that corrupted institution, or perhaps it's more accurate to say the Democrats have corrupted that institution. Democrats like Hunter Biden, you see, they don't have to comply with the law. Hunter Biden also defied a lawfully congressionally issued subpoena and got away with it. Republicans and conservatives, you know, not so lucky. A former advisor to President Trump, Peter Navarro, is in prison today. His crime defying a congressional subpoena, just like Hunter Biden and just like Joe Biden and Merrick Garland's Department of Injustice. Many of you might be asking, why do Democrats in the government get away with breaking the law? Others may be asking, why our tax dollars are funding such degenerate, untrustworthy, and crooked people? Good questions. Reuters, a left-wing media source that recently got caught distorting President Trump's views on illegal alien criminals, Reuters said this about the corrupt FBI, quote, FBI misused intelligence databases in uh, 278,000 searches, court says, end quote. Misused is a soft and politically correct term to try and make lawbreaking sound harmless. The FBI broke elements of the FISA law designed to protect our people 278,000 times in one year. God only knows how many times they have victimized our people since George W. Bush crammed this law down our throats using the fear of 9-11 as cover for usurping Americans' rights. On Truth Social, President Trump blasted the abuses of our crooked government as they broke the law to spy on the president's campaign. Trump saying, quote, kill FISA, it was illegally used against me and many others. They spied on my campaign, end quote. The FBI, under corrupt former director James Comey, lied to the FISA court four times in order to execute the false flag operation known as Crossfire Hurricane. This was the fake Russia-Trump collusion scandal that involved crooked Hillary Clinton, the corrupt Barack Obama, their flunkies Comey, Brennan, Clapper, and an untold number of anti-American operatives. Despite the massive illegal effort, only one low-level lawyer, Kevin Kleinsmith, saw the inside of a jail cell. He did six months in prison for undermining the first two years of a duly elected president's term. To add insult to injury, he only lost his law license for a year because being a good left-winger has its perks in Washington, a place that no longer serves our people. Many of you might be shaking your head. Some of you may be angry. Others may be saying, well, it's uh, just the way it is. It's time to move on. Now, if that last sentiment describes you, you'd be like an, an alarming number of GOP and leadership and the donor class, Mitch McConnell, Paul Ryan, Carl Rove, and the like. As for your liberty-loving Latino here, I wonder why a guy like me, who doesn't support corruption, who loves the Constitution and the rule of law, and who seeks justice for our people, why I'm forced to pay for such an in-your-face corruption. You know, it's times like these I'm reminded of a Salcedo show axiom. It states, quote, they can't hurt us if they don't have our money, end quote. As April 15th fast approaches, that may be something for the taxpayers of the United States to consider.